Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 195. Differentiation of T-cells. Describe the picture of T-cell differentiation from the book. In this picture, first you see the T-cell precursor. As we know, T-cell starts off in the bone marrow, but it matures in the thymus. So from the bone marrow, it then goes to the thymus. Now once the T-cell is in the thymic cortex, it has to go through positive selection. And positive selection is basically a check to see if the T-cells are able to interact with MHC. And if they are able to interact with MHC, then it will receive surviving signals and therefore will survive. And if it's not able to interact with MHC, then it will receive no survival signal and therefore it will eventually die. And if it is able to interact with MHC, it depends on what MHC it's able to interact with. If it's able to interact with MHC1, the cell becomes CD8 T cell or cytotoxic T cell. If it's able to interact with MHC2, then it becomes CD4 T cell, also known as helper T cell. So basically that summarizes the positive selection. Now let's move on to negative selection which occurs in the medulla. So after the T-cells have differentiated into CD4 T-cells or CD8 T-cells, it will now then go to the medulla to undergo negative selection. Here the negative selection will check how capable these new T-cells are able to bind with self-MHC peptide. Here if the interaction of the T-cells is too strong with the MHC peptide, what will end up happening is the cell will now be told to undergo apoptosis. So this step is just to check if the interaction is just right and it's not too strong. Because if it's too strong, what ends up happening is there is formation of self-reactive T-cells that are capable of inducing autoimmune diseases. So that's why you want the interaction to be just right and if it's too strong, then the cells will be told to undergo apoptosis. And once the T-cells are able to pass both these checks of positive and negative selection, it will be released from the thymus into the lymph node and it would now be a mature T-cell. And if they are the mature CD8 T-cells, they would now be called cytotoxic T-cells. And if they are the mature CD4 T-cells, they would now be called helper T-cells. What are the functions of cytotoxic T-cells? The function of cytotoxic T cell is to remove virus infected cells, neoplastic cells, as well as donor graft cells. Describe the formation of T helper 1 and T helper 2 cells. If the helper T cell has the influence of interleukin 12, this cell will now become T helper 1 cell. If the helper T cell has the influence of interleukin 4, then the cell becomes T helper 2 cell. So interleukin 12 gives rise to T helper 1 cell, and interleukin 4 gives rise to T helper 2 cell. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.